Hey guys, my name is Lindsay, aka Raja, and I have a blog called Soul Shine LA. For the past few years, I've been making a conscious effort to live a little bit more eco-friendly, and I've been blogging about it. So for the last year, I have made an effort to stop shopping at sweatshop retailers. I'm taking my money out of the fast fashion industry and I'm putting it in places where the workers are being paid a fair wage and they're working in conditions that I know are ethical. A sweatshop by definition is a factory workers are paid low wages and are made to work in very poor conditions for long hours. In developing countries, it's estimated that 168 million children between the ages of 4 and 14 are forced to work in these conditions. And unfortunately, this is kind of considered the norm in the fast fashion industry. The quality of the clothes has diminished, the prices are cheaper, and the wages for the worker have gone down. Luckily, a lot of people are starting to speak out and a lot of brands are really starting to shift away and look for a more sustainable way to produce clothes. There is a really great documentary on Netflix right now called The True Cost. I recommend you checking it out if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this. I will link the information down below for you if you're interested. Over the last year or so, I've kind of discovered a couple different ways that you can still stay current in your styles and stay trendy and actually, I found be even more creative and even more unique with your fashion looks. Okay, so number one is stop buying so much crap. <laughs> I know that sounds harsh, but I have definitely, definitely been guilty of it myself. I know that I have made purchases just because they're cheap and I know that, you know, it, if I don't like it, it's not that big of a deal because it was only $15 or $30 or whatever it might be. Inevitably, that stuff just ends up collecting in my closet or ends up falling apart and nobody can wear it and it ends up in a landfill. So, love what you buy. Know that you really, really love it and that you're going to get use out of it. Taking note of what you already have in your wardrobe before you go ahead and make more purchases and trying to be conscious of that will really eliminate the amount of clutter and the amount of waste that you produce. Alright, so number two, shop used, shop vintage, or shop handmade. I love, I love all these three things so much and in fact they've only made me more creative with my wardrobe and find more unique pieces that nobody else has. Check out your local vintage shops, sift through them, I know it takes some time but make it a little bit of a, an event or a date or whatever it might be. Next is buying used. There are so many different ways that you can do this. There are some consignment stores for clothes like um, Obviously Goodwill and Salvation Army, those are two places that, two, it takes time to look through things but you can find some really awesome, really awesome. stuff in there. And um, in LA there's a place called Crossroads and another place called Out of the Closet. I actually found this plain black tank top at Crossroads for I think it was $12. Super cheap and if you don't have time to kind of check those stores out or maybe you live in a town that doesn't have them, there's actually a really great website, a couple of websites called Tradesy and Poshmark that are sort of like that. So basically, if I wanted to sell this necklace, I could make my own little Tradesy closet or Poshmark closet and sell it to somebody who's looking for a necklace just like this. And so I ship it to you from my house and you get it. Um, I've only had really cool experiences and I've both bought and sold on it. The only thing I recommend is just making sure that you know what you're buying, so double checking that it's the right size, that it's the right fit, that there is no damage, or if there is, that you know about it and you're okay with it, and just making sure that all of that checks out. They do have a really great return policy as well, so that isn't really, hasn't been too big of a concern for me. And lastly, handmade. Check out Etsy. Etsy is by far one of my favorite sites to shop from. I've been down like numerous rabbit holes with Etsy, so um, yeah, be careful. But <laughs> anyway, um, there are so many beautiful handmade things on Etsy and people work really, really hard to produce great quality items. That way you know you're supporting someone local, you actually know who made it, you can ask them questions about it, they can even sometimes size it right to you. The jewelry is beautiful, and at least you know it's coming from a good place, you're supporting your local economy, and it's kind of a win-win situation. So buy used, buy vintage, buy handmade. Number three is rent. 
if you've got a really awesome event, a really fancy shamarmi event that you've got to go to, um, check out Rent the Runway. They have amazing, beautiful gowns from high-end designers that you can rent for a fraction of the price. Um, rent the Runway Bag and Borrow, I believe it's called, and there's another one for jewelry called Rockbox. Basically, you pick out a dress and you get, I think you get to choose two different sizes so that you can make sure it fits. They send it to you and you get to keep it for the allotted amount of time and then you send it back. It's cool to be a part of this reusable sharing culture that I feel like we're coming into right now or have been into for a while. And it's a great way to look really fabulous without breaking the bank. Alright, so number four is upcycle. Reuse what you already have. Let's just say you have like a tank top or a t-shirt that you no longer really like. Just crop it. Make a crop top. Maybe you cut out the sleeves. There are so many different awesome DIYs on Pinterest that you can use to reuse the clothes you already have and make them cool and fashionable or edgy or whatever your look is. Um, you can also have a clothing swap with your friends. So all the clothes you don't want, they bring theirs and then you just switch it out. At least these things just don't end up in the landfill. You can reuse them, upcycle them, but try not to throw them away. And that's again going back to the whole quality of the product. Some of the stuff I've purchased in the past I can't even reuse. I mean, I'm, I've reused some of it for rags, but no one's going to be wearing it again, let me tell you that. Reuse what you have. Make it cool. Make it fashionable. I did a really cool festival uh, fashion lookbook that I, I cut a shirt from. I remade a belt uh, with and all the rest of everything has been from either Poshmark or Trade Z or it's been reused or from Goodwill. Number five do your research. If you really want to shop with a conscious mind, you're going to have to do some research and see which store that you normally frequent may be actually making their garments in sweatshops. Ask, just find out how long they're made to work, what the conditions are for the workers, how much they're being paid. And luckily we're in a really cool time where there's so many ethical brands out there and you know that you're getting quality clothes, you know that they're being made with love and care and they're not being made in a sweatshop. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope some of these tips helped you. If you have any tips for me, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, I will see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, have a wonderful day. Bye.